Hello everyone. Welcome to Gautam Digital Learning one more time. My name is Musab, your Linux, DevOps and AWS trainer over here with over 13 plus years of IT experience. Now, in our previous videos, we have learned very exciting things. And today as well, I'm going to show you one of a very, very useful concept in AWS launching EC2 instances that is called EC2 user data. See, EC2 user data is going to allow you to do certain things while we are launching the instances. Maybe the instance is Windows or maybe it is Linux, doesn't matter, whichever you want. During the launch of instance, I wanted to configure certain things. For example, maybe I have a plan to do certain things while launching the instance. Maybe I wanted to configure a web server in Linux or Windows. See, Linux actually uses Bash shell for performing these scripts. Actually, these are nothing but scripts. See, script is nothing but series of commands. When you put series of commands in a file, when you run the file, all commands get executed one after the other. This is called script. So you may use bash script for Linux and if it is Windows, we may use PowerShell script. So PowerShell is used for Windows and bash scripts are used for Linux. So in this uh, video, we are going to go with Linux and we are going to configure a web server. See to do this, what I'm going to do is first step, I need to install HTTPD software. So I'm going to use the command called yum install httpd which will install httpd second step you need to create a website now as we are not a proper web designers to design a website we'll go with a basic index.page so here we are going to create an index.html where inside that triple w html folder Third and the last step is to start the service of HTTPD and that we are going to do again with one more command system CTA. So let's see how these things can be automated and let's create a website by using this. So simply I'll go to my uh, EC2 dashboard under EC2 instances. Let us launch a new instance. Remember, you are going to allow SSH communication and HTTP communication. So you must add a uh, security group with the name HTTP as well. Now, if you don't do it while launching, even after launching, we can add it. So what I'll do here is let me call it Linux web server. You can select any flavor of Linux. I'm continuing with Amazon Linux, whichever comes under free tier. And also I'm going to select T3 micro instance with two CPU and one GB RAM. That is more than enough. Key pair, the online key pair, what we have generated. Next thing in the security group, this time I'm not going to create new security group because in the last class we have seen how to create security group so i have already created multiple security groups one for linux one for rdp and one for http as well so here i need to attach two security group one that will allow me linux communication and second that is going to allow me web communication http so in the list you can see so many are there I'm going to select Linux SSH communication and second thing I'm going to allow HTTP communication. Now let's go below and go to advanced detail. See in advanced detail you can put your shell script. Now if you already have a script created you can also upload the script and it will execute it. If you want to write the script, go ahead. First thing we will go with shebang statement. See shebang statement will tell which shell to be used. See Linux uses many shell. So we have to be specific that which shell you want to use. The most common shell is bash shell. 
So this line tells the script which shell to be used. First step is to install the software. See in our Linux classes, I have explained you how to install the software, start services and all. So let's go and configure or uh, install yum. yum install httpd hyphen y this is going to install http package and i'm answering yes to continue second step i need to create a website index.html in var triple w html now this is a little challenging see here what we need to do is we need a file to be created automated way. Here I cannot use cat command. Here I cannot use vi command. So I need to use a logic by using echo. Echo generally repeat anything you say. So I'll say echo repeat these steps. What are the steps? I'm giving heading one. See websites are designed in a special language called html hypertext markup language html uses tags open tag close tag so this is the heading tag i have open now first step i'll mention something i'll say welcome to gautam it now close it i'll say slash h1 h1 is opening slash h1 is closing now this output i want to send to a file which file the file is var www html and inside it index.html so please don't do mistake after this inverted commas there is a space then a redirector that is greater than complete address where the file to be created so here the file will be created then the last step start the service i'll say systemctl enable now see this is the command to start and make the service permanent it will start the service now and also it is going to make it permanent right now let us go for launch instance that's it now you see during launch all these steps are going to take place automatically so whatever task you wanted to do instead of doing it manually you can do it uh, automatically same things you can do in windows also maybe at the time of launching you wanted to install some software copy some data or you want to make some changes in the settings all can be done by writing a simple bash script in linux an xml or powershell script in windows now let's go back to instances and here my linux web server would be available if you want to see what is the user data you have given right click and there is an option instance settings in this setting you can see edit user data user data is only run one time if you even make changes inside it and boot the machine next time it may not do that things so only one time it will be executed and here is your data if you want to copy it you can copy now let us see whether it is working or not so what i'll do is i'll take the public ip take a new tab and say paste and go so if everything works fine this is how you can see your website is launched so instead of me logging into machine and doing the steps it has done everything automated way so this is all about your user data that lowers your burden in aws thank you very much for watching this video we'll meet again in the next video for more